Hello everybody, it's George from Shop2 here and welcome to the start of a new series that's going to be titled Shop2 Previews and today we're taking a look at Splatoon 2. So this video is called Shop2 Previews Splatoon 2. I just thought that sounded quite fun. Splatoon 2 is the much anticipated sequel to the 2015 release Splatoon on Wii U and it seemingly came out of nowhere to start with like I didn't know much about Splatoon and then it released and it seemingly took the world by storm it really sold extremely well on a console that was struggling at the time and therefore has spiraled into this huge global brand that everybody knows and everybody wants to be a part of. The game is scheduled for worldwide release on the 21st of July and it is a Nintendo Switch exclusive. So if you enjoyed the original on Wii U, now is the perfect time to grab yourself a Nintendo Switch, especially while they're in stock, because I, I reckon as soon as this comes out, the stock is just going to disappear again and you'll have to wait a little while to get your hands on a Switch. If you've been keeping up with Splatoon 2 news, you would know that the game had a global test fire around a month or two ago where owners of Nintendo Switch consoles were able to download and try the game for free at certain times over specific weekends and give feedback to the developers and basically test the servers and test gameplay and see if there was any flaws in there. I think the global test fire went really well and I'm hoping that any small problems I found with the game when I played it have been fixed in the full game when it releases in just over a week's time. The first thing I was really drawn to with the game is the arcade style gameplay. I love that it's kind of a third person aspect. I think it works really well, especially on the Switch, especially for this type of game where it's not like a hardcore first person shooter. It's more of a casual, fun paint shooter which is pretty much what it is and I think the third person view really does suit the game very very well from what I played I really enjoyed myself although I do believe there's quite an easy entry to being okay at the game but then from getting from okay to exceptional there's pretty steep learning curve so what should you expect from Splatoon 2 well, going by the single player campaign trailer that was released a few weeks ago, it looks like we're in for a really solid campaign, which is possibly the mode I'm most excited for uh, with Splatoon 2 as of right now. Don't get me wrong, I'm sure the multiplayer will be really fun, well balanced, casual, a game that you can really hop on and then hop straight back off of with the beauty of the Nintendo Switch. But I think I need to learn more of the game first before going into multiplayer. So that's what I'm really looking forward to the campaign. So hopefully it's going to show me the basics and a few more advanced moves and stuff like that. So I really know how everything counters everything. What's the best thing to do in each situation and everything like that. But yeah, the story for the campaign looks like it could be really, really fun. And I think the gameplay and like the kind of... It's more relaxing playing campaign than multiplayer. You haven't got the stress of competing with everybody else all the time. And that's what I'm looking forward to, to ease myself into Splatoon 2. Then I will head straight into multiplayer and I will probably spend most of my time after finishing the campaign in multiplayer because obviously that's what you, the main part of the game is. And hopefully, as I mentioned earlier, I can get through that learning curve and become significantly better than I am right now at the game and then hopefully, you know, make it one of my games in my regular rotation because I think Splatoon 2 really does have the potential to do this and be one of the bigger games that I tend to spend most of my time playing. I'm kind of hoping it's going to rekindle my love for the Nintendo Switch. Don't get me wrong, I'm in love with the console. I think it's one of the best consoles released in however many years, but it has been kind of dead recently. I haven't played it as much as I used to. I've been playing the occasional bit of Mario Kart, bit of Zelda here and there, but I really want this game to absolutely kill it so I can be on my Switch all the time because I think it's a beautiful console. I'm just struggling for things to play on it at the moment. So yeah, I think Splatoon 2 has the potential to do this and I'm sure a lot of other people are going to pick up Splatoon 2 that haven't played the original just because it's on the Switch and it's one of the bigger releases and it looks really, really good and I think they've done really well with their marketing this year for uh, Splatoon 2. So yeah, I reckon it will sell really well and I reckon the game's going to be really fun itself. So we'll have to wait and see. We've only got just over a week until release. Hopefully we'll have a review for you guys on the channel after release. Uh, my name's been George. You can check out everything you need. will be down in the description. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of this new preview series and be sure to check out the written preview down in the description as well. I will see you guys next time. Be sure to subscribe and leave a like. I'll see you guys later.